all right today we are going to be doing something i wanted to say cool but we always do cool stuff here so you know i'll leave it at your judgment so today we're going to be doing some kind of experience on scroll so it's mainly focused on the hero section we're going to give it a little bit of a pop so we're not going to have the usual entrance animations i guess but we're gonna have a very cool animation happening on scroll so let's get into it all right so let's add a container in here so this container will have a full width and a height of 100 vh and i'm going to change the color or add a color to this as a background uh this is going to be brownie and it's a color that i have set in my uh, global settings so in this container we are going to be adding a text editor and this text editor will have some text obviously <laughs> And I'm just dropping some text that I have, uh, changing the color to blue sky, again a color that I have set in my global settings. And I'm looking for Sora and I'm going to change this to 1.3 and I've set the transform uppercase and also alignment left. Let's go to advanced and change the custom width of this widget to 50 and align self to end i'm going to give this a height of 50 top and 20 uh, right but this is also depending on your own um, design of the hero section so i'm going to publish this and inside this container we're going to go and add another container this will be a child container which will contain our heading so i'm going to set this to full width i'm going to give it a height of 100 vh and i am going to set this to position fixed and let's publish it again i am going to add a heading in here so if you um, are subscribed to the newsletter you know that i am sharing free type faces and fonts that you can use for free in your projects and this one that i'm going to be using now is one of them so i'm gonna go to typography and go all the way up where it says custom fonts so this font is already saved in my um backend in wordpress and i have access to it here so this is the font that i'm talking about i'm gonna set this to 20 rem it's going to be a big one right and set this to bold let's also i forgot to change the color this is ugly i'm gonna change it to blue sky also i am going to set this to h1 because we said it's going to be an h1 and also change the text here so i'm gonna say we oops what am i doing we are who we are okay so what we need to do here is set our text um, at the end justify content at the end let's publish and let's have a quick look so this is how it's looking right all right so i am going to give this a padding 10 top 50 50 and 10 all right let's update this okay so i i could um i'm thinking to change this to 25 instead and also i can give it some uh, margin top let's see 200 maybe let's publish and let's have a look i think we need a bit more maybe 300 would do anyway we could skip this step it's not yeah we could just a little bit a little bit maybe uh or change some things around here anyway all right let's let's continue with our uh, containers uh down below so um this is set to be fixed okay let's just have a quick look so this is what happens since we don't have much scroll i mean we don't have any scroll uh, or space down under all this uh under this container the container does not um scroll much so this is all we have um all right i'm going to add a container down below 
want to duplicate this. I know it's a weird practice that I have, but this is my uh, process, I guess. So this container will hold our stacking containers. So I'm going to go and add a another container here. What am I doing? Go and add the container in here. Set this to full width and 100 VH. 100 VH and add in a some text okay so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna go and drop it in here paste here and set this to be first and let's make it a bit smaller it's too much all right this is not really important um and we're gonna set where is it okay we are here set this to be at the center why is it oh. This is what happens when you copy paste things. All right, I'm going to just leave it like this. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm going to set this container, the first container. I'm going to set this to have a Z index of one. And if I go to motion effects, I can set this to be sticky on top, right? And also stay in column. And let's duplicate this. And this is going to be second and we are going to also set the z index on this one to two so now the containers are stacking but we need to give this a color so i'm going to change the color to brownie and this one should have already the color anyway so um I'm gonna make this color a bit darker so when you scroll you can see the difference of the second container scrolling so I'm gonna duplicate duplicate this set this to um, third uh, this doesn't matter you can change it to a P if you want and you should obviously because only one H1 is allowed on page all right, so I'm gonna set this to um, Z index three and sticky top. Let's see, don't we have this set sticky top as well? Yeah. All right, so I'm also going to change the color slightly, a bit darker. Okay, this should do. So let's publish, let's have a look, and then we will come back with the code. So this then we have this and this and this which i think is pretty damn cool all right so the next step is simply adding our code and then uh trying to do some explaining all right so i just dragged a container in here and i'm gonna add an html widget and i'm gonna just and i'm going to add my code in here so let me publish this but i need to add some classes because we have some classes here that need to obviously work with um, our elements right all right so we have an upper container the upper container is our fixed container the child container so i'm gonna drop the upper container in there and let's go to our code grab the lower container class and add it in the parent container that is holding the stacking containers <laughs> all right i'm going to publish and let's have a quick look at what is going on all right and this is what we have yeah and I think this is pretty damn cool. It has kind of a, an interesting effect, I think. Let me just give it a little bit more space on top. Maybe 50 pixels extra. Let's have a quick look. Okay, I don't like that this is cutting here. Maybe, maybe we can um, just add 20 pixels extra instead hmm. okay also we can adjust the text editor 
give it about 30 instead of 50 and then we can move this up 10 pixels Yeah, obviously it depends a lot on what text you have here. So um, let's just say something else. This is, this is, oh my God, is a test hero. Publish and let's have a quick look. And imagine you would have a call to action button here and a navbar here or it's all up to you and how you can imagine this um, working we can even move things around we could move this here and our text maybe here i don't know i'm just playing around and this is what you should do as well Okay, this looks a little bit strange but maybe not yeah so it depends a lot on what kind of font you are using as well as you can see so i hope this was helpful and you can see that you can combine uh, elements that do not need code to with elements that are a little bit stylized with gzap let's say hope you like this if you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.